Hi guys and welcome to another video and in this video lesson we're going to be looking at statistics finding the equation of the least squares regression line. We're going to be looking at a question from the November 2010 paper 3. It reads as follows. The data below shows the pulse rate of a sample of 12 people when they rest then again after 2 minutes of jogging. The resting heart rate are all these values and the heart rate after jogging is all of these values as well so the resting heart rate is going to be our x variable and the heart rate after jogging is going to be our y variable it says draw the scatter plot of the data given on the grid provided in diagram sheet one now we can go and confirm our x and y variable by looking at the grid so the resting heart rate should be on the x-axis the heart rate after jogging should be on the y-axis resting heart rate x-axis heart rate after jogging on the y-axis draw the scatter plot of the data given on the grid provided on diagram sheet one as you can see i've already completed it for you let's go and check how do we do this 47 and 65 47 so that's 45 46 47 and 65 so that's our first coordinate the second coordinate is 55 and 68. Therefore, the second coordinate is, there we go, 55 is on the x-axis and 68 on the y-axis. So a coordinate is simply an, interse an intersection of an x and a y bit. So if you continue right through, you'll be able to complete the scatter plot with no hassles. Calculate the equation of the least squares regression line for this data. So we're going to use our calculator to find the equation of the least squares regression line. So therefore, we just press mode, stats, option 3 on my calculator. Now we need to get the bivariate. So A plus BX is our equation of the least squares regression line. So we press option 2. Now, as you can see, X and Y is what we're interested in. So I always leave the frequency on, on my calculator, but you can just ignore that. So let's put in all of our values. 47 equal to 55. Now you'll notice that I'm putting all the X values first. Then I come back and then I put in all the Y values. Now the reason I do this is I can double check that all my information is correct. So now I'm going to put in all the Y values. So 47 and the Y value is 65. Now that all the values have been input into my calculator, I will now press AC. All the values are now stored shift and one remember that i want stats so therefore the stats is above there regression so five the a value and i want the b value so my a value is 25.225 so i'm going to round that to two decimal places 25.23 to put down the question number and SDS C diagram sheet because this is done on the diagram sheet. For the second example, the least squares regression line is as follows y equals to a plus bx. A plus bx. So we want our a value first. So our a value, as we've already calculated it, is 25.2. Let's get our B value. So we press AC shift and one. Regression. I let's get our B value. So that's option two. That's 0 0.814. So round to two decimal places will be 0 0.81. So plus 0.81x. So let us there's your regression line. So therefore. 
y is equal to 25.23 plus 0.81x. Let's go look at the next question. It says calculate the correlation coefficient. 4.3. Now the correlation coefficient tells us the strength of the relationship between the x and the y values. So once again, AC shift and 1, 5 for regression, and R is the correlation coefficient. So 3, equal to, so that's 0 0.897. 0 0.897. So R is equal to 0 0.897. So as you can see, this is a very strong positive relationship. So if we round it off, it's going to be approximately 0 0.9. 4.4. And here they ask us to comment on the correlation of the data. So 0 0.9 is a very strong positive relationship. Four point five. If Jones heart rate after jogging is eighty six beats per minute, what is a resting heart rate in beats per minute? So eighty six beats per minute is a heart rate after jogging. So the heart rate after jogging is the y variable. The y variable is going to equal to 86. And a resting heart rate in beats per minute is what we want to calculate. So therefore, we want to calculate the x value. Now, we would normally not calculate the x value from our equation of the least squares equation line. But because we have a very strong positive relationship, we may do so in this case. So therefore, we can now substitute into our equation. So that would be 86 equals to 25.23 plus 0.81x. And we're going to solve for x. So let us do that. So x is going to be... Solving for x is going to be 86 minus 25.23 all over 0 0.81. And that's equal to 75.0246. 75.0246. So it's approximately. 75 beats per minute that is if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe to jr maths also check out all the videos on jrmaths.com and i'll catch you in the next video